on the Good News Horn. And with me at the desk is my favorite bugle boy, Rossi Ross Matthews. Hey, toot, toot. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> toot, your tutor. <laughs> toot, toot. Um, okay, first up, while we orchestrate our massive makeover today, Newsweek reports one woman bravely recruited all of TikTok to revamp her look. Okay, she is brave. That is brave. Yes. Her name is Alessandra, uh, and she posted this before look and then asked Gen Z to give her some constructive criticism, and they sure did. They she got, sure did. And they always do. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, for better or worse, she got tons of comments, and some said, ditch that side part. Um, and some said to lighten up the eye makeup for a fresher look. Well, Alessandra took it all to heart and posted this transformation. Wow. Uh, I think she looks phenomenal, right? Um, but I would never do this in a million years. I'm, Ross Matthews is tapping out. I, I, if I ask you how I look, you know, do you like how I look? What I'm really saying is, can you confirm that I think that I look good? <laughs> You know, so the fact that she went on social media and said, hey, hey strangers, give me your two cents. Not gonna happen. Uh, you're you're a str stronger and braver than I am. All right, for those who like the middle part, raise your flower, green, give me green. Oh, whoa, so much green. Okay. You guys, I hate to disagree, but I kind of love the side part. I do too. What I really love is the fresh makeup. Yeah. I think that's the real game changer. All right, next we got some uh, style news. Some old footwear is making a big time comeback and it's, it's not just for milkmaids anymore. <laughs> Pop Sugar reports, you know clogs? Well, they're clogging on back. They say people are gonna be clogging hither and hither this fall. I <laughs> hear the audience, they don't know. Clogs are not for everyone, Drew. Uh, I have to ask you, are you a clogger? I do not have the leg for a clog. A clog does not look like a clog on me, it looks like a hoof. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Listen, I know my body, I know tailoring, yeah. and clogs are not flattering on me. Well, you know what I got into this summer, and I can't even believe I'm gonna admit this, uh, but Ross Matthews got into um, Crocs this summer. Yeah, what? I know, I was near the pool, I went to the mall one day and I was like, that's kind of cute, they put these little things on them. So I thought, no one will ever know, just buy a pair. Gibbets? Gibbets! And then I was rocking out with my Crocs out all summer long. <laughs> and now look, clogs are a whole trend. So did I start it? Am I a hero? I don't know, you tell me. Green flowers for in with the clog, red for out with the clog. Let's see what you guys think. A lot of mixed, surprisingly more green than I would have thought. Um, well, go clogs. I love that we're really debating the issues the nation needs to talk about. <laughs> Thank you for this. Listen, we talk about it all on the news. <laughs> yes, of course. And next, we're always ready to turn this desk into a lab. Today, we're trying the latest skincare trend. Glamour reports that the frozen cucumber trick is going viral, and dermatologists say they might have something to this. Cukes <laughs> are loaded with vitamin K, can reduce puffiness, and help with acne and dark circles. So we have frozen cucumbers here. These are legit so cold that we wrapped a towel around them, and I just rubbed this all over my face. That's the, that's the um, suggestion. Okay. But guess what? <laughs> what? We have someone in our audience who's gonna do this with us. Hi, who's this? Hi. Oh, it's Kat, ladies hey. and gentlemen. Hi, Kat. Give a warm welcome. Kat, are we gonna really do this on television, Kat? I'm ready. Kat, I would like you to lead this uh, beauty okay. session. I'm gonna start at the eye area, because okay. that feels more appropriate. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cold. Whoa. It smells nice. It does feel like, like, a, like a real product that you'd buy at a store though. You, you know? Yeah, a grocery store. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> like one of those roller things. <laughs> Kat, I'd like to know um, yep. what your thoughts are. Yay or nay to the cucumber? I feel refreshed. I, I say yay. Yeah, I don't know that I'm sold. I think. <laughs> I think I'm good. I, I smell like a salad, Drew. I think I'm good. <laughs> well, but, I just liked getting to do that with you, Kat. Thank you <laughs> thank so you. much. Thank you. I love it.
And before we go, I wanted to share a powerful image by photographer Ellie Sharp. It's a really good reminder that social media is a veneer. It is a slice. It's just not the whole apple. And we are doing a beauty show today, but one of the things that I really, really, really can't press upon enough, I just think that beauty is a spiritual and an emotional journey as well as the way it looks. And social media can really play a lot of tricks on us. This is who we are, this is what we've got to work with, and we need to feel good about it and be kind to ourselves as well in the process. Mm -hmm. Well said, Jane. You know what else is beautiful, Ross? What? You. Well, girl, it's the cucumber. You gotta try it. <laughs> so is Kat, and it ain't the cucumber. It's you.